Hey everyone! Hello, hello, hello! And welcome! Let's give it a minute or so. Let me find us on my uh, iPad here. There we are. All right. Oh, I see myself on my iPad. I don't like that. You know, every time that happens, I gotta move my iPad. Be the first to come in on the video. Who's going to be the first? Who is going to be the first? Who's going to be the first? Da, 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 da. Mary, hello, 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 welcome. So good to see you here today. I'm so happy to be here today. <laughs> you are the first, Mary. Hello, hello, hello. My goodness, my blocks are falling. Here we go. Everything's falling now. Everything's falling down, 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 down. I want to be able to see with the light, but then the light is holding up the iPad, so I want to be able to see with that too. I'm happy I'm you're here too. Oh, thank you. Yeah, it's been um Oh, it's been a couple weeks, huh? I'll tell you, this, this time has really gotten me down, you know, I've been through a lot of stuff, but this, this time mentally, physically did me in. Hello, Lori. Good evening. Good to see you. Hello, Fran. Hello. Hello. Let's try to get a record crowd, folks. I keep, I've been doing this for how long? Who all knows how long I've been doing these Facebook Lives, and I'm just not getting the following that um, I thought I was going to get. Maybe I anticipate too much. Maybe it's summertime and nobody's inside. I mean, it's so hot outside. Why wouldn't you be inside, right? Why wouldn't you be inside wanting a stamp? I'm strong and brave. Well, thank you, but uh, sometimes I don't like to show my true emotions. I like to put on a good fight. Yes, it's hot here. I know I have been, I'm, you know, I'm on a budget for my electric bill. I'm afraid I've exceeded that budget. So it means I need to, to sell more stamps. It means I need to do more videos. I need to do more, 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 more. You know what I'm saying? Um, I do have a bunch of stamps I'm going to try to sell again. I am, you know, I try selling them for 10 bucks each. Supposed to storm. Yeah, I heard that. I heard that. But I have a ton of stamps. I don't know. I was selling them for $10 for the stamps. 25 for bundles and I think that's a bargain so either the ones I have everyone has or people just aren't interested in the ones I have or I don't know they want new stuff but if you buy it it's new to you <laughs> but I really need to get rid of it um I really need to clean out but it's hard to clean out when you know I, I'm almost like giving them away you know what I mean I'm thinking of selling the stamps for $5 just to get rid of them. Hi, Kathy. Hello, hello. Um, so those of you that are here, you're wondering where have I been. I had a rough time at this last chemo treatment. And they're already talking about coming on the 27th of July to take blood for the next one. And I barely recovered. Those prices are a deal. I don't know. Maybe because they're too cheap that people don't want to buy them. But anyhow, a little update on that, and then we'll move on, because I have a lot to share with you tonight. I have some sharing. I have a kit to share with you. I got my paper pumpkin. I got some new product. Hi, Sherry. Um, so I, um, I had, a, I, uh, what's an eloquent way of saying it? I don't want to say I had a bowel obstruction, but I had a fecal impact. 
I think that's what the technology was called. Hey Kay, hello. Um, I suffered for a week. Things weren't moving, so finally I said to Ricky, you know, I need to go to the hospital. So we did, I went to the hospital, and man, the stuff they gave me, I am still, still cleaning house, shall I say. I wouldn't even dare go anywhere because this, it was, but it, it did the trick. But talk about being wiped out. Um, the steroids are done, so I'm kind of wiped out because I don't have that extra energy. And I had to deal with the, the bowel issues. And I'm afraid for next time, for the next round of chemo. But anyhow... We'll face that bridge when it comes. I do have a prescription. But it's got, oh my gosh. Okay, it's, it had to come out. I'm going to say one more thing about it because it's gross. Hershey squirts, I know where that came from. Okay, so let's move on. Welcome everyone. Thank you for coming. Thank you for your prayers, your thoughts, your cards. Oh my goodness. The cards have meant so much. Um, speaking of which, my desk is a mess. Let me share some of the cards I got. Um, here was one that came from um, Cecilia. And uh, let me get caught up here. See how far back I am with the screen. Am I still here? Oh, there we go. I don't know what that was, but I had a little uh, bump in the road there. Okay. Um, this one was from Cecilia. I love how she did this. What a great way um, to utilize the uh, paper pumpkin. So she sent me a, um, a birthday card. And um, very exciting. So thank you, Cecilia, if you're watching the replay. Cause she, she doesn't watch the lives. Um, this next one... Um, years uh, ago, I, I was so excited, I, I ripped the name of it even off. I joined a uh, hashtag, um, something with birthdays. And I guess I'm still on a list with that. Um, so this was a birthday card that I got in the mail. And I'm seeing I'm going to have to go a little forward here. Um, sending you smiles for every moment of your special day. Wishing you a happy, healthy year to come from Linda Briel. Briel. Isn't that pretty? Love that. So thank you, Linda, if you're watching. I appreciate the birthday card. So hashtag I'm bringing birthdays back. Sometimes it takes me a while for things to come. Um, this next one <coughs> comes from Deidre. Deidre. Or, well, I can't read the last name on here. Maybe it's Deidre. I mean, you know who you are, right? Look how pretty this is. I think I still have this. I don't think anybody bought it yet. I may have to just keep it. Um, this embossing folder with the shells. Copa? Cor? Cor? I, I, I don't know. I can't read the writing. Um, wishing you... Uh, Sunkissed nose and sandy toes okay enjoy your special day isn't that pretty i have that set too but look at how she did this with the opening in that i love that so a happy birthday card from her so thank you so much i appreciate that as well where was i putting them right there and then i have one from sherry and sherry i think i was late with this one i wasn't i'm not sure if i showed this one or not but I love what you did with the vellum, with the dry embossing on the vellum. Can you all see that? What you did? And it says, under his wings, you will find refuge. Isn't that the truth? Um, so, Sherry sent me this beautiful card. Yeah, I love the frame too. Isn't this pretty? I love this. Sherry, and of course, I love that um, frame. I have those dies and um so pretty and of course it's purple who doesn't love purple so sherry thank you so much and then another card just came from uh sherry so i got two from sherry 
And this one is uh, Sending Birthday Wishes. And I love this set. I have this. And um, for a special person on a special day. So hope you're feeling good and your day is wonderful. So I love the navy. Well, no, it's not navy. It's the um, starry sky with the... Um, it's either granny apple green or what's the other color? Let me reach the parakeet party. Either or. They're pretty close in color, but very pretty. And I love this. And you were able to keep your eye. I always lose my eye when I do that. Not my eyeball, but the eye in sending. So Sherry, thank you so much. And she used the um, tea set uh, envelopes that came another lovely one sherry yes so thank you all for all of your well wishes to your cards you just don't know how much all of that means to me let me grab a drink i'm trying to keep hydrated and it's not coming out <laughs> i bet the straw fell out yeah i did there it is there's my straw oops Hold on, let me grab my straw. Thank God they're long enough that you can just reach in, except I can't see now. Hold on, folks. Poke that in there. I started realizing I'm like a child that I need a cup with a lid because I knock everything over. Oh my goodness, the other day, I knocked over a whole cup of coffee all over the table all over my phone, all over everything. So I'm like, okay, I'm like a child. I need a sippy cup. So, mm-hmm. There's my sippy cup. All right. So let me share. Oh, my goodness. I have so much to share. How about some new product? We have some new online exclusives. And it just arrived today in the nick of time. It said it wasn't coming until Saturday. But it came today. I was so excited. So um, I know I'm going to tease you with the trucking along stamp sets. So during the creativity now, um, they shared the stamp set and it has a corresponding punch. It's called trucking along builder punch. Now the punch from what I'm hearing as of later this afternoon, sorry about the crinkle, the punch is available. The stamp set is not yet, but don't worry because it's coming back. Um, keep checking. If I hear anything, I will make sure I keep letting you know um, because Stampin' Up! makes their own stamps. So we'll be able to make this stamp, um, stamp set. Um, but you know, if you want to grab the punch now, you can. And we have the current special. I'll go over that with you as well. But some of the verbiage on this is sending you sunny thoughts, wishing you a festive Christmas, special delivery, farm fresh. Woohoo, I got your yes yours yesterday. Fabulous. Every day is a fresh start. I need to tell myself that. Not only on the truck, but I, I could see Farm Fresh being stamped right on that little door right there. So this is a two-step stamp. Well, maybe more than that because you have your truck. You have the color for the truck. You have the wheels. Um, you have the things that you can put in the truck, including, I don't know what these things are. Just maybe covered up stuff. We got some trees. We have, um, these look like palm trees. How to stamp it? I just got it in stamp it presents. So two step, um, these look like flowers, sunflowers, maybe some trees. Um, we have a little grassy area order to stamp it, not the punch. Okay, great. Underneath here, we'll have a little bit of shadowing, some grass, some trees, and then these pieces here would be if you want to put rails on your truck. And um, it is photopolymer, so you can see through it. Let me sniff it. Mm, love the smell of photopolymer stamps. Anybody else? 
years ago Sherry used to say it smells they smell like chocolate I don't think they smell like chocolate but I don't know I like the smell so anyhow that's the stamp set and um, these can work alone so you can punch out the truck and we have the thing for over the wheels we have the uh, window and then the wheels so um, you can buy them together as a bundle at 10% off however like I said right now the punch is available the stamps are coming they're coming folks don't worry um, new ribbon now you can order all this stuff now it's not just for demos only this is a um, all these different language dotted ribbon look at how pretty that is look at that I'm thinking Valentine's Day Christmas let me tie a bow and see now when you have ribbon that's like this and the other side has yuckety yuck you can use either that side or this side but if you want to tie a bow and you want to make sure you have the same when you go to tie it kind of twist it okay like this twist so then both sides and then you're going to want to twist this both sides will show the same dotted ribbon okay like that but very easy to tie if you're not too concerned about it and you just want to tie a bow you can just whoop, hold on my um, hands don't work like they should sometimes and yes if you're noticing I got my purple watch so now I will know what day it is there we go look at that with no muss no fuss I got it I just have to twist this other end to show the polka dots so isn't that pretty pretty ribbon will go great with the truck um, I also ordered these uh, gold and silver trim combo I believe this is on the clearance rack and um, it's just thin thin ribbon but I figured you know the holidays are coming and it's clearance I believe it was clearance rack I believe um, but I got that and um, I also got this new paper have you seen the paper yet this is part of the one horse open sleigh I wasn't too thrilled with the stamp set and um, the dies and then there's uh, snowflakes in white oh I forget what color they are um, I get cramping in my left hand lately that's something new but um, let's take a look at this paper so again it's six by six in size and you get where does it tell you it's item number 16 21 18 and you get 48 sheets and this is under the online um, let me get rid of this pillow behind me online extravaganza let me get situated here in my chair so you have to look under that under what's new and it will say online you won't find any of these items in the catalog okay so let's take a look at this paper I actually got two packs I got first pack on a pre-order and then I got the second pack but if you don't get nothing else get this paper and don't just get one get more because you are gonna fall in love with it so let's take a look so look at this I mean can you just see this in a frame maybe with a little the little truck here or the little motorcycle although you wouldn't really, really ride a motorcycle in the snow but the little truck now if you have the old camper set and I think I still have it I don't think I sold it I'm gonna be digging that out of all I can be going through all my stuff I was gonna sell and I'm gonna be keeping it all um, so there's that side the other side has a real pretty red kind of like a linen look so let's see you get one two three four so you get four of each so here's another one on the back side has the red and when you flip it over look at that scene oh, and I have a technique that I'm going to share with you to show you how to use every single piece of this paper on a card so that you won't feel badly about discarding any of it so isn't that pretty look at this one with the little um, fox in the background so let's see we got four of that and here's the back like can I tell you 
wood backgrounds like hello oh and here's another one so maybe somebody's counting how many different pages there are and here's the back of that look at that that can work for Halloween it really can because um, it snows sometimes on Halloween right where you could take your blends and color that in and make it spooky looking how about this one I mean, I don't know. There, one is more beautiful than the other. And here's the back of that one. So you can order this paper now. And I'm telling you, this paper is going to sell out. So, and if it sells out, there's no promise to say it's coming back. So if you see something you like, get it now. Look at that deer. Look at those big ears on that little guy. How cute. Look at this one. I mean, this with a little... Um, sentiment on it you know hello or you do scrapbooking hello you know very easy put a picture on that build a snowman and look at the back side i love the ones that look like wood so what are y'all thinking of this paper so you get four sheets of each that's what i'm telling you you need to buy more than one now let me see how this one goes well i guess it could go either way trees with little footprints how cute if you have the moose from the past the moose you could very easily the punch look at this one i think this one has got to be my favorite i could see this one in a shadow box with little little tiny pinholes and those little tiny fairy lights poking out in a in a shadow box i got to do that because it's the first thought when i saw this one so just four of those and on the back of that just has you know plain old green which is fine and here is the next one it just seems like it never ends right look at how pretty that is wow it is beautiful paper look at this i mean i do not have a favorite other than that um a frame home which i love look at the trees on the back so i mean it doesn't just scream out christmas it screams out you know winter and let's see what's on the back of here. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wow, that little truck in the field. I mean, I'm just seeing that truck everywhere. So that is the, um, let me go back to the name of it. It's six by six, um, one horse open sleigh. The item number is 162118. Those of you that are watching, that are brand new here, if you're watching the replay on YouTube, my name is Susan, and I am an independent demonstrator with Stampin' Up! And all of these items, and then some, can be found through my online store at StampinSueCreates.StampinUp.net. You can find them all there. Um, oh, something else I want to share with you all. Um, I'm looking for it. Did you know there was an add-on to the add-on to the add-on for the take your pick tool? How many knew that? Raise your hand. I did not. And so there is take your pick crafter tips. My goodness, like where have I been that I did not know this? So here is what's included. So we have this one little pokey thing which reminds me of a dental instrument only because I'm overdue for cleaning. I need to find a new dentist that will now take my insurance because mine will not. Um, so it has that and it goes on to the uh, take your pick tool, which is this little doohickey thing. So these things come off and these things go in like that. And then you have another tool. Like so. Let me get that out. Now I'll be like, oh no, I can't get it out. There we go. Um, and on the other side, now I don't understand why, but we have another pokey tool. So we already had, we already have this pokey tool. This one is a lot thinner pokey tool. Okay. So I always use my pokey tool. The little spatula is on the other end of that one. Okay, let's put that back on because that can hurt. And then we have um, we have an exacto knife, which ooh that can really hurt. So I'm not going to play around too much with that. We have an exacto knife. 
Then we have this little rotary thingy dingy. And let's give that a try. When I saw that, I was like, what? Okay, maybe it goes on the thicker end. It's the first time. Oh yeah, it does, it goes on here. Okay. Um, oh, and it has a lock. Um, I think it perforates. Well, you probably wouldn't want to use that, but it does. It perforates and then it can tear it away. Like if you have a ticket stub that you tear away, I mean, I, I would want to, uh, wouldn't want to use it on this box because this isn't working too well, but I'm failing as a demonstrator because you really want to use it on cardstock. But anyhow, um, we will be using that, not tonight, but we will be using that because I want to make sure that works before you go and do the investment. But yes, we have all these fancy, fancy tools. And I would imagine that blade is replaceable because it has a little screw thingy right there. So if you did not know that, like I did not know that, um, we have that additional add-on. I think that's fun. Okay, and it comes with an, <clears throat> an instruction sheet. So it tells you hobby blade, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, pick tip, pick tip, and a rotary perforating tip. <clears throat> so yeah, fun. So that's just another little doodad to add to your accessory kits. All right. Okay, let me put that aside. So we will have to play with that. Um, okay, put that aside. Um, is that all the show and tell I have? I think that's all the show and tell I have. Um, I still want to remind you that we are doing the um, $50 with your $50 purchase. Um, you will receive a $5 coupon to use in August. And those $5 can just keep adding up with each $50. Like if you put a $50 order in today, you get a $5 coupon. You get them through email. Make sure your email is up to date. You get them through email. And if you want to place another $50 order tomorrow, you'll get another email with the coupon code. So save all those coupon codes. Codes. Then when August comes, you take all those codes and you enter them in. And you get $5 for each code to use toward an upcoming purchase so I think that is exciting and it's called bonus days you can earn save and then redeem so um, don't forget about that and it runs through uh, July 31st five dollar coupon for every 50 and then redeem your coupon in August and that's a great deal um, I also found this through one of my demonstrator websites the basic tool this is the um, take your pick tool okay the basic tool is $11. There's a brush tip that you can use um, to remove all the insides of your die cuts. That's $12. And the crafter tips are $21, which you get, you know, technically um, two, four, you get five tips for $21. And um, I can take a photo of this. This was put out by uh, Stars Facebook group. And um, she, Madison Area Stampin' Stars, she put this list out as to all the other attachments and exactly what you can use them for. So if you'd like, I can take a screenshot of this and post it on our Facebook group. Then you will get an idea of the different things you can do with all the tips. So I will do that. Um, just give me a few to get that all together but it's very helpful because you might not think of something um, like the stylus tool lines for accent and framing and Sherry knows about that because that's what she you she either used that or she used her paper trimmer to uh, do that um, embossed images coloring vellum so many things you can do with the take your pick 
If you have that or if you don't have that, now's the time to grab it because then you can buy all these items and then you'll get your $5 coupon when it comes to $50. I think it's a great, great thing. All right, upcoming classes. Um, upcoming classes. Oh, and here's information on the online exclusives. Um, Saturday... August 26, 2023, I'm going to be having an online class with the Trucking Along, which is the truck and the stamp set. So that's going to be at 10 a.m. That's a free class, and you uh, might want to mark your calendars. I have it all under the events, and I have to remember to put it on my um, demonstrator website page. So that's going to be with the truck and the punch, and there's going to be um, different classes that I will be having here. It should take maybe about two hours, maybe not, depending. I haven't done any of the projects yet because I just got it. So that's going to be August 28th. This Saturday, um, let's go to that page. This Saturday, um, July 22nd at 10 a.m., I'm having a Facebook Live, and everyone is invited. It is a free class. And we're going to be focusing on the list shops, which is this bundle on pages 30 and 31. And if you like, I can show you a sneak peek. Um, I'm very excited about it. I'm very behind with being sick and not, you know, but I think we'll be fine. So that is this coming Saturday at 10 a.m. If you cannot make it, don't worry. It'll be posted on YouTube on my um, Stitching with Sue YouTube. And it'll also be here posted on Facebook. So you'll be able to uh, stamp along with me. And um, also, um, I am hosting a demonstrator gathering where we're going to um, do a shoebox swap. And what that is, is that every uh, demo attending will have all the components to make a project and we all make the projects blah 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 my suite that i'm picking to work with is the so refreshing i hope it comes in time i haven't gotten it yet i mean shipping's a little bit long i i'm hoping <laughs> hoping praying that i have it in time to come up with some samples but um i love this suite page 29 because i saw this picture and there's lemons and there's little strawberries and ice cubes and there's dyes to go with it. And there's a little, almost like a pillow, but it looks like a tablecloth. Page 29, you could find it. So um, if you have any interest whatsoever and you've been on the fence of joining Stampin' Up, um, you're more than welcome to come and join us. I believe we have right now about seven that are that are definite attendees. So we're going to do the shoebox swap. Everybody coming is going to bring some sort of nibbles to share. Um, we're just going to have a fun afternoon. If you are a hobbyist, if you are part-time, full-time, whatever time, you are, everyone is welcome to come. It's for demos, but if you've been on the fence thinking you might want to be a part of the Sweet Bee Stampers team, you might want to come and check it out. Just saying. Okay, so that's going to be Sunday, August 6th. 2023 at 1 o'clock p.m. And then I also posted today, I know I'm like really filling my calendar. I'm being optimistic that I'm going to be well. Um, bingo is coming back in September. So you want to check that out. It's going to be virtual bingo um, because I, I know people sometimes want to attend and they don't live in the area. They can't attend. They're, you know, they're in Alaska, but they want to attend. So that is going to be $40 and there's going to be projects and there's going to be, um, of course, prizes. There's going to be four games of bingo and it's going to be online. And if you've attended my online things before, you know, um, there'll be packages uh, that will be sent out after the bingo. So you'll be able to sit and relax and watch uh, the projects being made. So then when your kit comes, you can just sit back, grab your... Um, things that you need to assemble and rewatch again and again as many times as you want at your leisure. So you can come to the event live, which you'll want to, to play the bingo, but you can make the projects later on. You won't feel rushed. The worst thing I feel all the time with Stampin' Up! when they do the projects is I feel rushed. I don't want anyone to feel rushed. Okay. And another item, 
I know you're like, is she ever going to do any stamping? I promise I will. Um, paper pumpkin came. Someone sat on my box. That's okay because it's a blase box. And I wanted to open it with all you. I took the plastic wrap off. So I'm excited to play with this. It comes with a, uh, well, Sue B, right side up. You could read it. Uh, boy, Daffodil Delight. Is that hard to read or what? And here is the stamp set that it comes with. Let me put it up against, well, backwards again, Sue. Wish you were here. Sorry, I was crabby. Hello, sunshine. Um, what does this little one say? Sending sunshine to... Uh, hello, sunshine. Did I say that one? Uh, relax. You deserve it. Wish you were here. Waving. Hello. I saw... I see. S-E-A. Brighter days ahead. Sending an ocean of love. And then there's a big sun, there's a starfish, but there's a lot of words. So sometimes we get a lot of images and no words. So let's unwrap our package and save your paper because you never know. You never know, you need to wrap a gift. Why not? Hold it back up, put it in there, get your iron out, iron it up if you want. And I'm hearing um, from other demos that these are um, fun folds. So how many of you are looking at this right now and saying, ah, oh, I wish I subscribed or oh, I opted out this month. Well, that's why you don't opt out. Looks like we have some little um, embellishments here. We have some tear and tape. <gasps> Look at the envelopes, folks. Look at the envelope. Oh, the inside. Oh, we love our envelopes, don't we? How fun. So I'm, I'm hoping to um, put these together shortly. It looks like we have three of these that they pop out. Cut them out like that. I'm hearing this one's a little bit more work than the others, but hey, if it's a fun fold, who cares? So here we go. Um, let's see. So they're perforated for you. I just don't know. I have to uh, see how this all goes. <laughs> la, 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 la. So I'm looking on the back side where the perforations are. And you know, I'll figure it all out once I. Oh, there we go. There we go. You want your bone folder to fold that out. But look at their, like, fun folds. Little step cards. So it looks like we have one, two, three of those. Look at these that punch out with the little boat. The sailboat. And we have this. So we have a bunch of those. And we have three of these. And they're all the fun folds with the foldy thing. Oh my gosh, look at this one. The palm trees, a little sign. So we have three of those and three of these. And oh my goodness, look at the little sand bucket and pale beach ball. The umbrella surfboards, how fun. And of course, these lovely glue dots that I do enjoy using. Oh my goodness, look, we have little crabs, little flip-flops. We have sunglasses. Uh, here we have, oh, and also um, starfish. Some little flags, you could do your sayings. Oh, well, what is a uh, beach card without an Adirondack chair? Oh, this one is gonna be so fun to put together. It's also going to be fun for alternatives. Let me tuck this all in here because I'm not going to do this now. This looks like it's going to need a little bit of head, head working. But let's take a look at them. So there are three different designs, three of each. How cute they are. And step-by-step -step instructions. There's also a video. I posted a video for y'all if you want to watch the video and then create 
and here on the back shows you all the contents oh my gosh look at that that looks like a shaker card look at those ideas go to paperpumpkinhowto.com scan the QR code um, and uh, kit components there's also going to be a paper pumpkin live that you can watch um, I believe they have it scheduled because I believe I already said yes I'm attending <laughs> but um, let's put this all back in the box so if you're going to the beach or if you're not like me um, but you wish you were bring the beach to you or if you're going to the beach, take this with you. And on your downtime, you know, you can sit and put your paper pumpkin together. And instead of sending a postcard to everyone, send them one of these cards and saying, hey, la, 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 wish you were here. <laughs> but don't send that one to me because I'll be crying because I would be wishing that I was there. All right. So um, we are going to be going to the beach tonight. Tonight we are going to be um, creating with one of our kit collections um, because the fact that I'm not at the beach and I'm not going to the beach I'm bringing the beach to me by using the boho beach kit just got this in the mail came with my order the other day and um, this is one of our kit collections that's another online exclusive and if you love the beach and you love these colors which these are my favorite colors you will be interested in this. This does come with a um, stamp uh, block, so you can use it for more other than, um, than this kit. It comes with everything you'll need. You'll need maybe some paper snips, and if you don't like those fancy little glue dots, you may want to use your own adhesive. It also comes with a pecan pie, which I don't have this stamp set yet. Um, I'm ink spot stamp pad so we'll get it soon it'll come so I'm excited to have this I'm slowly trying to add some of the new ink pads to my collection I don't have them all but I'm slowly adding just like you all are but I'm excited to have that I do have the marker so um, yeah so this is part of our kits for every occasion and you can see more of them under the uh, kits collection on my online store and it's like paper pumpkin but it's not a subscription it's a kit and there's many other kits to choose from they come out about every other month a new kit um, step by step photo instructions and then here on the back it, it shows you what's included coordinating colors um, again, there you will find a video as to how to put the cards together. So um, I uh, kind of was playing today. <laughs> yes, I know, Sue, last minute. Here's how it comes in these boxes. So these are great storage boxes. They're heavyweight, nice thick boxes. You could turn them um, inside out and then it's just a plain old box. You can decorate it. You can go ahead and put a big ribbon on this and maybe a friend of yours would like to get started in stamping but doesn't want to buy all the hoopla that you know we all have to have. And um, they can dip their toe in a little bit just to see what this stamping thing is about. So it comes with a stamp set. Let me get the right way that it goes so I can read it. And I had the hardest time with these because I didn't put the stamps on right. Okay, so it says sit back and relax. And I'm just gonna get my blocks out and I'm just gonna block them up. Sit back and relax. And then we have um, enjoy your day. So it comes with the ink, it comes with the block. Let me show you the kind of block it comes with. What did I do with it? Well, it doesn't really matter. But it'll come with a block like this. And I know this block's a mess. That my blocks need to be clean. It'll come with a block like this, which is your basic size. What is this? A C? Someone help me there. Is it a C? It's a D. Comes with a D block. So I'm gonna go ahead and use that one. So sit back and relax. It comes with this. Um, is this a palm kind of thingy? Do y'all know or is it it's kind of like a fern 
either way I got I guess it goes it comes with these little um, dots which is kind of like uh, sand to me and then it comes with this I don't know this florally kind of doodad thingy so I'm gonna mount all my blocks I have them all mounted all ready to party let me get this out of the way I'm going to stick this in here but can I tell you how much fun I've had with this? Now, um, before I even began with this, I thought I made the sample cards as suggested, and I'll show you those. But I thought, what do I have that I could incorporate with this? Now, these kits are made just to create them just as is. But if you want to maybe make the samples and then spruce them up a little bit, take a look to see what do you have in your stash already, okay? Before you have to go and buy anything. Yeah, I would love it if you went and bought everything. I would love it. But I know money is, you know, money is tight these days for all of us. So I have Oceanfront and I thought, how perfect will that be if you have that seashell set? that I just showed. But look at these just little embellishments. Ocean front would be perfect. How about the waves of inspiration? That is a perfect one and that has verbiage to go with it. And there's also dyes that go with that one as well. So the wave dyes, that would be perfect. And I did use this little, I think he's called a pelican. I don't know, you bird people out there. And then I thought, you know what, how about this one in the moment? Because here she is looking out the window. She could very well be looking out the window, you know, at the ocean -y. Or she can be here like she's on a ship. She's going on a cruise. She's got her glass, her beverage of choice, orange juice, I'm sure. Or maybe just some ice sparkling water with a little wedge of lemon. And um, you can incorporate that. The words in the moment, you're in my thoughts. Sometimes the most productive thing you can do is relax. And you're always so good to others. Be good to yourself too. I need to make a big poster of that. Because I do believe I'm good to others and not always the best to me. But this is a perfect set for that. Then I thought, hmm, paper pumpkin. What paper pumpkin sets do I have? Now, I don't know the names of these. I should have labeled them. I know I'm lackadaisy, but how about this one with the little ship? There's a seahorse, um, starfish. Here's a little, um, there's words in here. Um, this little uh, rolled up bottle, the rolled up note. If you have that bottle set, you can use that bottle set. Oh my gosh, you can incorporate that. And then I came across this one, um, which has the clouds. And um, I thought this would be a good set to use. So think of some of the sets that you have. Once you make your sample card, what else can you do? You know, you can pull in some of those, right? Am I right? Am I right? I'm right, right, right. Oh, before I begin with this, though, because, you know, I'm going to forget. I want to go through show you um, some of the whoa, some of the samples for Saturday so the let's go shopping um, let me get out I kind of threw them all in this bucket let me go through and show you some of the samples so here is one of the cards that um, I will be demonstrating isn't that pretty that pretty isn't that cute? Happy birthday. So this will be one of the cards. And um, the inside, did I do anything? No, I didn't. I was lazy. I didn't do the inside. There's one of the cards. Um, if I get a chance, I'll do another one tomorrow because there was another one I wanted to do. But, you know, um, here's another one. This one I went off of um, this little restaurant, like Chinese restaurant with like good luck and um, another cute card I'm using that one. And I did want to do one more. So that one I'm not gonna show you yet. 
because I, I don't want to share everything. But I do want to share with you this one. Hold on. Are you ready? Close your eyes so I can get it ready. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Look at, whoops. Hold on. Look at this. Look at this little ice cream truck. And then I, I found, so if any of you um, have this bundle, where did I just put those things? If any of you have the bundle, I ordered, oh, here they are. I ordered these um, Brock's Strawberry Cupcake Glitter Lollipops. So inside here, this is supposed to be a gift card holder, but heck, why not put some little treats in there? But look at it, it's a little camper that stands, a little ice cream truck. And I thought the strawberry cupcake glitter lollipops would be perfect. They fit right in there. This will fold flat and will fit in a regular standard envelope. How adorable is that? So I'm gonna share with you how to make that. And um, if anyone is interested, I can send you one or two lollipops in the mail. Can't promise how they're going to make it there. But how cute if you were having like a little ice cream social to make that cute little um, ice cream trailer. Here's the other side of it. I thought that was simply adorable. Not my idea. Another demo. And then there will be um, one more easy card to create using the Less Shops with the Let's Go Shopping bundle, and that also has uh, coordinating dies. And of course, focusing big time, big, big, big time on the designer series paper, because if you don't like to stamp these shops, you just cut them out on the paper, but look at how adorable if you cut them out, how they are, oh, adorable. So join me Saturday at 10. So I didn't forget, I wanted to share that. Okay, so let's go. You're like, Sue, I thought we're here to stamp. We are, but we have other business we have to take care of. Okay, so um, let me share. So here are the two cards that are suggested. Did I put out enough stuff here for... You all know that, you know, things don't always go as planned with Sue. Um... But here is one of the suggested cards. Sit back and relax. So this will take you step by step in your instructions as to how, which one is that? Sit back and relax. That's this one here. Step by step on how to put the cards together. So I won't bother going over all of that with you because you have this here and uh, Stampin' Up! has also provided a video for you to put it together. But um, look at the envelopes. Oh my goodness, look at the envelopes. Now I kept two envelopes to go with the two cards. But what I did was I took the cards and um, I cut them because they're front and back. So why do I want to waste this on a back? I cut them all, so I will double, double my kit, double my kit. But um, I want to. I have to find out my brother's new address. So I cut the front off, and I glued it onto a white card base, because I just didn't want to see that on the back. That nobody's going to appreciate it back there. And I did keep the envelopes. Some of the other envelopes I cut apart. So that was one of them. And then here is the other one. Do you just like not love that umbrella? <sighs> Enjoy your day. Yes, of course. A little bit of stamping. Um, sit back and relax. A little bit of stamping here. And of course, here's the envelope. Love the envelope. Let me fold that. So those are the two um, suggested cards. And you don't have to cut the cards up like I did. If you're like me and you're a glutton and you can't get enough and you have to cut everything up because you want more, I want more, I want more. <laughs> you know, I don't want to buy another kit because I, if you buy another one of these kits, you're going to get the whole kit. I mean, I don't need the stamp set and all that other stuff. Just want the consumables, which 
are not available as of right now. Um, they're not doing that anymore. If you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, once everyone gets their kits, they put the um, kits and refills available for purchase. So I'm thinking definitely I want more of that beachy one, but I don't want the whole kit because I already got all that, right? Right. So then um, here's, here's what I did. I looked, I looked, I looked, I looked. I looked on the back of the flyer, well, the instruction sheet, I guess you call it, and I looked at what the colors are. Coordinating Stampin' Up! colors are Crumb Cake, Lost Lagoon, Pecan Pie, Pool Party, and Wild Wheat. So I pulled out all those colors. I took the envelopes, okay, so this, this is the envelope, and I cut down the side, okay, and this would have been folded, so there's your envelope. Cut down the side, and then look, I have a full piece of designer series paper, because I have envelopes. I mean, I don't want to waste this on an envelope, although it's exciting to the person receiving it, but I mean, I, this is designer series paper to me, so I cut my envelopes. All but this one and I cut my um, I cut my cards okay cut my cards I cut cardstock of all the colors that coordinate okay so this is what I was doing today so there's like two different cards and front and back are different okay front and back are different so I cut all those this was the one of the envelope flaps and Kay, if you're still watching, yes, I ended up ordering those um, 3D embossing folders. I think they're 3D. Hold on. Un momento, por favor. Um, I'm not sure where I put them. But they're the two little mini ones. Oh, here they are. Because I love them so much that we use them. The Stripes and Splatters 3D embossing folders. So we ran a bunch of stuff with, through that using my small embossing machine. And all I did was I stamped some of these little pelican guys. I colored some of them. I stamped a bunch of sayings. I, I just, you know, made a whole slew of different things. All the punch outs, um, all those things, all different sayings. Here's my little glue dots. I don't want to lose those. And I have this whole bunch of stuff. So then, now I am ready to create. And I just have to decide what I'm gonna create, right? So I'm gonna move all that aside. And I pulled all the coordinating colors. Pool party, now these things I did save because I don't know, I'm just thinking, you know, I hate to throw anything away because I, as soon as I throw that away, I'd be thinking, you know what, that'd be cool to do something with. So let's not throw that away. And this is part of the envelope. You can run that through embossing folders. You can stamp on it. Um, here's all the different colors of coordinating cardstock. Are y'all getting where I'm going with all of this? It's just like a hot mess sometimes, but hey, whatever. So once I did all that, then I sat down and I thought, you know, let's create. Because now we got all this stuff, all this, you know, all the punch outs, pelicans, I was really focusing on the pelican, pelicans, and I don't really like that one, so I'm gonna throw that away. Um, so here is card number one I came up with. Now, how cute is this? Now, these little pebbly things were discontinued, but last time I looked, they were on the um, clearance rack. They look like little beach pebbles. So I did this one on crumb cake, and I don't wanna throw anything away, so I used a little strip on here. So let's go ahead, let me show you how quick and simple this card was to do. This one I'm going to use Pool Party, just because I can. And um, I did a little layer on the background with uh, basic white. And this is gonna be our beachy. And um, oh my gosh, I'm just like, I just can't wait. I need more time to play. <laughs> <laughs> Who feels that way? They need more time to play. I lost like a whole week 
when I was sick because I didn't have time to play. So I'm using the pecan pie that came with the kit collection for the Boho Beach. And I'm going to use this sand. And I'm just going to stamp some sand along the bottom. Let me just try to do it this way. Maybe this will work better sand along the bottom and I normally wouldn't have had that already glued onto the white but I don't know what I was doing I was just having like I was just having fun so you don't want to take any fun away from me all right let me get my cleaner because I forgot to clean my chamois I meant to throw them in the wash when I was doing my laundry and I forgot all right so there we have a little bit of sand and I lost my card sample. Oh, there it is. Okay. So here's my card sample. So again, don't forget, I'm using the pool party as my base card. Whoops. Well, that'll get glued on here anyhow. I always make a mess. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and glue this onto my base card. But, ooh little bloop bloop so yeah I'd love it if anyone would be able to attend some of my virtual classes online I really would like to get back into doing in-person classes but I'm just not quite sure if people are ready for that um, I've been hearing there's a whole new strain coming around again um, you know I don't know if it's ever going to end, folks. So here I have these little uh, palmy things. And um, I have one of each. But um, we'll see what happens. But right now, up until September, um, we're just going to go ahead and do virtual. Plus with virtual, you know, everyone can attend. You know, it's not limited to just the folks that live in the area. Um, you know, it's expensive for gas to drive. Um, this way, you know, you can be at home. And you can watch at your leisure. You won't even have to get dressed. You could watch, you know, in your pajamas. I mean, I'm not saying you can't come here in your pajamas. By all means, come in your pajamas. Who cares, you know? I mean, life's too short to be worried about someone showed up in their pajamas. Come comfortably. But um, anyhow, I am looking forward to the, um, the demo get-together. We used to do it every single month. And some of the folks that are attending, they're not even on my team. But who even cares? You know, at this point, like some, some demonstrated groups are like, oh, you're not on the team, you're not invited. Everyone's invited. Whether you're on my team or not. If you're on someone else's team, maybe that team doesn't do anything. If you come and um, you have a few things to add, you're friendly, you're nice, you, you're just looking for some gals to hang out with, hey, you got the right number there. All right, so let's see. I'm going to put this one over here like this. What am I sticking to? I'm sticking to that. Okay. Then I have my little pelican guy. Here's my little pelican guy. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to bring in a blender pen. And I know it's been a couple hours since I've stamped this, but I tried this before and it worked. You can use the blender pen and look. Look how you can, can you see how I'm, you know, maybe you can't because my big fat hand is in the way. You can pull the color from the side because I was coloring them in and I'm like, yeah, I didn't like that. But look, you can pull the color in from the side. I'm going to do a little bit on this. I'm calling him a pelican. Those of you people that are out there and you're saying, oh, that's not a pelican. I mean, to me, I think it's a pelican. He has that big long thingy on him. Look at that. Clean your uh, blender. The blender brush comes with a set of three, if you're wondering. Um, oh, dear. I want to pull them out. I close the box and everything wants to come. So here's how they come. Blender pens, set of three, um, double tipped. When you're done using the color, all you do with it is you drag it on your paper. If there's no color, then it's clean. It might be stained, but it's still clean. 
okay so that's going to go there look at how perfect that went i think i missed a little bit down here look at that and that comes from that uh, ocean set that comes from the uh again if you have it in your stash waves of inspiration there he is right there there's little birdies too you can stamp too and this oh beautiful beautiful i love the ocean love the beach i think i should have been a beach bum you know years ago so then i used your strength as an inspiration and you know i needed some extra words um so where did that come from i think that came from that beachy side again hold on a second yes your strength is an inspiration and you're so totally awesome our friendship is a thing of beauty and then i believe i used some happy birthday ones too so i just did a whole bunch of sayings you can do whatever you want okay so with this one i'm going to uh Oh, yeah. oh, there it is. Linen thread. I'm going to wrap some linen thread. Now, the linen thread comes with the, the boho um, bundle. The only thing that I was disappointed it didn't come with is some sort of embellishments because I felt like it needed some sort of embellishments. But, you know, we all have a ton load of those, don't we? Whether you have pearls or the, the little um, sand ones or, you know, I got a whole basket of them. You know, use them up. I don't, I don't, you know, mind if they're retired. I still use them up. All right, so let's, let's do this again. I'm going to wrap this around. Oy, oy, oy. Sometimes the easiest things in life. So anyhow, um, Saturday, 10 o'clock, be here stamp along with me or just you know come and see what kind of mistakes sue makes and you know pray for me while i'm doing it that it all <laughs> works out and if it doesn't oh well you know um sunday um my kids are all coming over um to celebrate my birthday so my daughter asked me you know food wise oh you know what what would you like you know i'm telling you after the week i've had as far as with food wise food is like the least of my thing so i said to her you know i i don't really get out i don't really go anywhere so um i've had enough of takeout pizza i didn't really want pizza but i did say to her i love the chicken from sam's oh my gosh love the chicken i would never refuse a chicken from sam's and plus they're five i think they're still only five bucks so i said to her i would oh my gosh i'm struggling i would love a chicken from sam's or if any of you um have ever had at sam's they have this chicken pot pie oh my goodness can i tell you how um i gotta find my honk and cut scissors all right, well, we're just going to wing it, I guess. Where are they? Where is my bucket of them? Hmm. Oh, here. Can I tell you how delicious the chicken pot pie is? And I, when I say massive, this thing is massive. This chicken pot pie needs two flat cookie sheets put together in order to stick it in your oven. And it's already made and it has a lattice top on it. Oh my gosh, it is to die for. So she said, well, how about that? And I said, well, yeah, that, that'll work too. But, you know, I'm really not, um, I'm going to use some dimensionals on here. I'm really not much into, like, after what I just experienced, not too much into eating a whole lot. But, um, so we're going to do that and, um, cutting my grass, I struggle with having to lift up my lawn mower. So, um, they went and got me a shed that, um, let's see, let's put this pelican over here. 
that um, they're going to uh, assemble and put a shed in my yard so then I won't have to lift my lawnmower up and down um, to uh, to cut my grass and I cut my oops I cut my grass yesterday because I thought well you know I looked at the weather and my grass was so tall and I just thought all right I'm just gonna do it so I bought this solar hat that was recommended by other um, other folks that have the same um, glioblastoma that I have and I'm looking for those little doohickeys here they are and the hat well I took a picture of it if you all saw me took a picture of it and I keep sticking to something it's annoying me um, any hoop I'm gonna use these little pebbles it's a solar hat, so the top of it has um, a solar panel, and when you go out in the sun, the um, the fan will um, blow cool air on your head, because what happens is with those arrays that I wear on my head, they get too hot, it sets off the alarm. Oh, look at that, isn't that adorable? So it sets off the alarm, okay, so here's this little piece. And um, let's use this for the inside. What am I doing with my paper cutters? So anyhow, I thought, okay, yesterday I'm going to go out and I'm going to cut the grass. And I realized I need to cut the grass twice because it was so long and I have an electric lawnmower and the grass was so wet underneath. So I did it the first time, and I mean, I did it, and then I'm like, oh, I got to go and do it again because it needs to be cut twice. I had to cut it higher, high setting, and then I went on a low setting. I got halfway done the second time around, and I'm like, that's it, I'm done. Because what happened was, if there's no sun, duh, the solar hat doesn't work, the fan doesn't blow cool air on your head, the alarm is going to get, is going to set itself off. <laughs> on the little Optune unit so that didn't go as planned but I got the grass cut I got the grass cut and what it is it is so when they come on Sunday probably my son-in-law will be like let me finish this for you and be like thank you very very much okay so there it is your strength is an inspiration isn't that a beautiful card what do y'all think? Y'all like that card? Okay, I have one more to do. One more to do. Oh, and FYI, I am still running the special. Um, you purchased $50 worth of product. You not only will get the coupon from Stampin' Up! for $5 to use for next month. You also will get from me, as a special July birthday gift, um, 25 hand-stamped cards, and you'll also be entered to win um, the uh, prize giveaway, which is a pack of 6x6 designer series papers, one of my favorites. Um, the first week's winner was Cecilia. She won the Patriotic puppy which because that was for fourth of july um the next week i had a late comer i had a late coming of nancy v so she doesn't know it yet and i don't know if she's here watching but nancy you're going to get a pack of the 25 cards oh, so say you got the 25 cards as well and um uh, debbie got a pack i think it's debbie Oh my gosh, I'm so I'm so sorry if I'm not saying what your name is. She got a pack of the 25 cards, and she got a little um, embroidered sun coaster. Um, Nancy V is the winner for the next pack of 6x6 designer series paper and the 25 cards. And I have another pack of different paper to give away. So that will be the giveaway between now and next Thursday. So the weeks are running by, folks. You're missing out if you're not putting an order in. But you have to use the host code. Must use the host code. And it has to be uh, $50 or more. And, uh, yeah, you'll be entered. Okay, so here we have, um, what color is this? Uh, copper? The copper color? I don't think it's the color of the ink, is it? Hold on, let me 
Uh, maybe it is. Peach. Pecan pie. Pecan pie. Why am I saying peach? Pecan pie. Okay. So that's our card base for this one. And then I have a piece of pool party. That's going to be our next base. But then what I did is I took um, one of the... Uh oh I just dropped everything. Where did it go? Oh, no. I have this issue when I drop things, then I can't find them. Hold on, folks. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, crap. Oh, sorry. I have my phone plugged in. Oh, and the cord just came out. You know, if you ever saw... No, you probably don't want to. Let me plug that back in. Are you all still there? You ever saw the, the setup I have here? Oh, come on. Okay. All right. My chair is stuck. Okay, pool party. And then what I did is I took one of the front sheets and I cut them in one and one quarter inch strips. Okay. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to layer these strips. And if I decide, I fix my chair again because I feel like I'm, I need like a pillow on it or something. Like I'm smooshied, smooshied on my pillow, smooshied. All right, so I'm going to need three of these pieces. Oh, excuse me. And I am going to put one up here and leave a little smidgies and I'm going to put let's see sometimes the hardest part is deciding where you're going to put what <laughs> I'm going to put this one with a little bit of multicolor I'm going to put this one down here and just leaving that little tiny smidgy. I don't know I saw a card something like this somebody was doing uh, not like this but kind of a little different than this and I thought well it looks fun and then I'm going to take oh, I wish I had a different piece. I don't think I could peel that one up yet can I? Oh, I can. Oh, okay, good. I'm going to take another piece, put it down the bottom, and that piece I'm going to use in the center. That'll work out. So does anyone have any vacation plans? I would love to hear. I watch all these people going on vacation. Um, I watch a lot of YouTube videos with different uh, resorts and things and... Um, you know, of course, I'm very jelly because of all that, but um, I enjoy watching it. I'm going to put this piece right about in here. Like that. That works. And let me glue this onto the front of my card. I have to go back in and see if there's any comments or questions. I usually have some pretty good folks that are here that help out with questions. And my team members are here. We only have, what, six people? Well, I know everyone's busy. Everybody's got things happening. This one's going to be for my inside and I have a little strip left so that's going to go on the inside. I keep trying like to hope like one day, one day we have like this massive amount of folks watching. One of these days. I have considered going live on YouTube instead of Facebook. So I think on YouTube I would get more of a following. 
is it would reach out to more people. And Facebook, I think Facebook like limits the amount of people that have access to see things because I, I know a lot of you don't see half the things I be posting all the time. Because somebody will say, well, what are you talking about? Well, didn't you see my post? And no. So, I don't know. There, I like that. You like that? Okay. All right. Then I'm going to, uh, where are my pieces? My pieces. My peeps. I have this little leafy thing. And I have the saying... Sometimes the most productive thing you can do is relax. And then what I also did is I cut this out with the stitch shapes. And when I cut the top out, there wasn't enough to make the circle. So I just went and cut top, top and bottom. And you can do just like that if you wanted to do that. So just because maybe when you cut it out, it didn't cut out perfect. No worries. You improvise where it's kind of like, I wanted to do that. But I'm going to use the circle. Stitch Shapes has got to be one of my favorites since they kind of got rid of a lot of the, the shape dies. That one, oh, it just fills the bill for me. Oh, I need to put this on first. Hold on. Okay, where are my little dots again? Hmm, 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 hmm. Where have my little dots? Where have my little dots gone? <sighs> well, don't know where they went. Probably lost in this jungle here somewhere. This one's gonna get lost. So I don't know where they went. I don't see them. All right. So we're just gonna use some of our liquid glue little dots of liquid glue you know my, one of my least favorite glues but you know I don't know where my little glue dots went just a few to hold it down alrighty put this one stuck under that other one but this is such a fun fun kit have have any of you purchased this this kit let's put this here well, you know what I probably should do on here I should probably include the little chair oh but it kind of blends in too much Maybe the umbrella umbrella that was one of the best things of going to the beach. It's just grabbing yourself a little sand chair and an umbrella. Let's put this umbrella under here. I feel it needs an umbrella. There we go. Taking yourself up to the water's edge was always my favorite. Taking my little sand chair into the water area where the waves come splashing back and hit you <laughs> and uh, kind of cool you off well you know you watch the waves and relax it's the biggest thing about going to the beach is the um, feeling of relaxing and just enjoying yourself now this one I think I'm just gonna tie a bow Good luck with that one, Sue. Oh, look, I did it. Tie a bow. Tie a bow, 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 bow. But I think tomorrow I'm going to be doing some fun creating. And have my glue dot. Some fun creating. I have a lot of projects that I wanted to work on the past week and a half, and I just got a little backed up in time. 
Oh, and that's like sitting in that. That's like a disaster. I'm going to just stick that over there. And I didn't do any stamping on this. I just did that little saying. But I feel like it needs something here. So where are those little... Oh, here they are. And where is my... Take your pick tool. these pebble things and then they ended up um, retiring in there so I never really got to use them oops so I bought this bird feeder for my yard that um, I was actually jealous because um, Nancy G that um, is a demo here. She was always posting pictures of, um, she had this bird feeder that had a camera on it. And she would post pictures of all these birds that would show up, you know, to come and eat at her bird feeder. So I bought one off Amazon, a cheap one. And you know, you know, they say you get what you pay for, right? So I got what I paid for, which the camera thing doesn't really work all that well. But anyhow, um, I think this little guy, I think I'm going to put him inside. Anyhow, um, you know, Rick and I tried to hook it up and it just, it, it, it was just capital F failure. But anyhow, um, it's still a bird feeder. So I, um, I had ordered through Amazon. Well, I order everything through Amazon because it's the only, only way I can go shopping. Um, bird food and whatnot. And we set it up. And it took the birds quite a few days, but they found the bird feed. And oh my goodness, when they started eating, <gasps> they started eating. So I wasn't, you know, I wasn't feeling good. I wasn't able to go out back to refill the bird feeder. So when I cut the grass yesterday, I filled um, the bird feeder. Do you know by today, it's almost empty. Those little boogers. Look how cute that is in there. Oh, so adorable. I love that card. Those little buggers have been eating like crazy. And I know a lot of people probably say, oh, it's probably the squirrels. No, no. I think every bird in Wyoming Valley heard that uh, Susan Tim Jack has got their bird feeder full. So come on over. It's a feast fest. Oh my goodness, when I, every time I looked out when I'd walk by, I'd look out and I'd see them all out there and it would be like crazy with all these birds. It was like the, the, what did I, what did I tell those talking, you know, I was talking to Dory. She's a very good listener. I was talking to Dory and I said, Dory, I think we're like uh, infesting the birds to come here from the whole Wyoming Valley. They were in the yard. Oh my goodness. But yeah, they pretty much have emptied the bird feeder. So... At least I'm doing my part in society to to feed the birds. And I only have a little bit of food left. You know, they're going to have to wait till payday because uh, the bird lady here doesn't have, you know, enough funding to, to fill the feeder because they ate too much. All right. So anyhow, here are the fun cards. I will post pictures. What do they do with the samples? Here are the cards. I need a bigger desk, folks. <laughs> Here are um, the alternative cards. And I'm going to have a lot more alternative cards because I absolutely love the kit. But I also bought them because I felt so bad, you know, I'm feeding them. Well, they, they, need, they need to have a drink. So I also bought them a bird bath, but when it came, it all has to be put together and everything. And my mind isn't, isn't there to put it all together, but I have a little bird feeder for them to eat and a bird bath for them to take a bath or have a little drinky poo, whatever. So that has to go out there too. But there we go. What do y'all think? Are these cards not beautiful or what? I know I have missed so many, 
so many, so many things. Hey, Nancy, congratulations. Nancy V, you are the winner of the designer series paper and the pack of 25 um, hand stamp cards, which will be sent out next week for you. So you um, were the winner. If you want to be a winner this week, um, you can enter by purchasing $50 worth of product using the host code. You have to use the host code. If you don't use the host code, you don't qualify. Use the host code. You will get 25 guaranteed. You get 25 hand stamp cards and your name will be entered to win a pack of designer series paper, which I'll be sending along with it. So, um, congratulations, Nancy. And I love giving things away. It's my birthday, but I want to give prizes away for all of you because I truly do love and enjoy all of you. Thank you for taking the time to spend with me. These cards really look nice, if I do say so myself on my iPad. I really think they look great. So I will take pictures of all these cards and I still have tons of material left to make even more cards. Who knows? And my paper pumpkin and my truck set. And don't forget Saturday to join me 10 a.m. Eastern Time right here on my Facebook page, which um, I will be doing the Les Shops um, free card class. Free card class. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you all. So I will see you hopefully on Saturday. If not, then um, God willing, please, God willing, keep me in your prayers, people. Um, that all goes well. Um, because, you know, it's just, it's just been a hot mess lately. Anyhow, um, everyone enjoy your weekend. Um, please be safe out there. I've been hearing there's another strain going around. I don't want any of you getting sick. And um, until next week, I will see you then. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye for now.